morning, good morning. Hey, Rita. Rasheen, good morning to you. you elder good morning good morning good morning yesterday for us power of the blessing amen morning Angela in prayer, uh, not feeling well. is on her way to the hospital as we speak. Uh, we need to keep her in prayer. Keep her in prayer this morning. Amen. Father, we just thank you right now for your healing virtue. Uh, we just uh, pray and, and, and cover Angela right now in Jesus' name. Have your way, Lord. Touch your body from the crown of her head to so her feet, Lord God. Even as she is on her way uh, to the doctor, allow them to get wisdom and, and, and revelation. Whatever that con uh, situation or condition is, Lord, that you would cause there to be swift and uh, total healing in her body. In the name of Jesus, and we just thank you for it right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, Simone. Mary Ann Spencer. healing touch this morning. This music. Can I change this music really quick? Let me do that. Thank you. 
Here we go. You know, sometimes the music kind of helps to set the stage, and I thought it was something else that we could listen to. But, um, amen. So we are praying for the strength of God for, uh, for uh, Angela and Pablo this morning. Jesus. Whew. Hallelujah. So God, you are strength. Thank you for the promise of your word that just simply says, as we uh, ask for strength, those of us that wait on you, you will renew our strength like an eagle. And, 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 and so God, we just thank you for it this morning, for uh, the strength of God. Happy Labor Day. Amen. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Hallelujah. Amen. This is uh, the day that the Lord has made. We will and shall rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, Minister Claudette. Bless you. We are hoping to, um, uh, in October, I think you were saying, to want to uh, launch the um, newest, newest of our uh, family broadcasts. The newest in our family broadcast uh, for Straight Talk, Food for the Soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is good. So we'll listen. Um, I want to just, um, can we go into our scripture showers? I love uh, that time in lieu of our testimonies what what uh, they would do in, in our church when I was growing up they would have popcorn scriptures and people would just kind of pop up with their favorite scripture or a scripture that the Lord had laid on their heart or something that they have been using and it's also good for us anytime we utilize bless you and good morning to you Francine um uh, uh, Anytime we utilize the word of God for uh, for our um, uh, edification and just every day, it's for everyday use, everyday prayer. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And then uh, the Bible says, um, if we were to meditate on the law, the word of God, day and night, we make our way prosperous and we have good success. And then there is, and that was Psalms 1, to meditate on it day and night, Joshua 1 and 8. Uh, it said, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but if you were to It, it, it helps to make your way prosperous and you'll have good success. I got to get that scripture. Amen. But we need the word of God. Amen. And so um, the Bible says that this word is a lamp into our feet. It's a light into our pathway. It is the key to our success. Dr. Kim was sharing yesterday on the, the power of the blessings Amen. And as we can allow this word to change us and to conform us into the image of God. Amen. The more we study the word, whatever you, you, you ever hear the expression, you are what you eat. So the more word that you can um, eat and, it, and allow it to um, change us. I love that word yesterday because Dr. Kim was sharing how... Um, how the, the key 
to it and it's so practical is through just being obedient and aligning ourselves with the word which is kind of brings us to this word that um simone is sharing with us this morning it said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god thought it not robbery to be equal with god but get this made of himself made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and made in the likeness of men See, we're going to be servants of god one of the things that has to happen is that we have to uh, become uh, uh, servants of God. And, and he said he was made in the likeness of men, being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself. He humbled himself. That always stands out for me. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross, became obedient. There's that word again um, from Dr. Kim, amen, yesterday's uh, reminding us that obedience is key, amen. Being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, amen, and became obedient, even the death of the cross, amen. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you for that word, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless you, Francine. Thank you, Father. John 4, 4, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Psalms 23 and 4, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your word and your spirit comfort me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that, Francine. Hallelujah. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians 2, 5 through 8. Excuse me. Thank you for that, Simone. Come on, y'all. Let's get this word in us. Let's get this word in us. Hallelujah. Where is that device? Thank you, Father has a scripture for us. Hallelujah. Strength like none other. 
Come on, he's our strength today. He's our peace today. He's our joy. Hallelujah. That reaches to me. Thank you, Jesus. You are my strength. Romans 8, 26 and, uh, through 28. Likewise, the Spirit himself helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. He that searches the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. I love this scripture. It was one of my favorite in, in, uh, in Romans uh, 8. Amen. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Thank God for the Holy Spirit who helps our infirmities. Sometimes we don't know what to pray for. Sometimes we don't know how to pray for it. But if we were to just simply allow the Spirit of God to make intercession for us, amen, when you are praying in the Spirit, it allows you to make uh, the Holy Spirit can go into um, autopilot, so to speak, and begin to intercede. But he said, he, uh, which work with groanings and, that cannot be uttered. And then it said that he that searches the heart knoweth what is the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. And so whenever we allow Holy Spirit to just pray in us and through us, he prays the perfect will of God on our behalf and uh, makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And then the Bible says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Dr. Kim was sharing yesterday in the power of the blessing is that when you are in alignment with the will of God for your life, so imagine the Holy Spirit making intercession for us with groanings and travail and praying the perfect will of God on our behalf. And the Bible says that Jesus is at the right hand of the throne of God, making intercession for us. So we have the Holy Spirit praying for us. We got Jesus praying for us. And then we got God rooting for us and giving us what we need in Jesus and the Holy Spirit so that we can overcome. Hallelujah. So all things work together for good to them that love God to those that are called according to his purpose. We thank you, Lord, for your divine purpose this morning. Have your way. Thank you for that, Simone. Hallelujah. Anyone else? In the power of your name, we lift you up. We lift you Hallelujah. Strength like none other. Strength like none other. That reaches to me. Psalms 138, 3 and 4. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul all the kings of the earth shall praise you O lord when they hear the words of your mouth hallelujah thank you for that marianne spencer hallelujah thank god for his word you are my strength strength like none other Strength like none other 
that reaches to me. All right. Just do this. You are my strength. Strength like none other. Strength like none other. I'm going to go to one of my go to scriptures. Amen. I love Isaiah 40. That reaches to me. Sometimes you get a, a different. Uh, revelation on it when you read it in a different translation hallelujah that reaches to me that reaches to me I was going to read it in let's see so I'm, I want to go to Isaiah. I want to go to Isaiah. Um, uh, Isaiah, and we're going to start. Let's see. I think I want to start at the 28th verse, and I'm going to read it down. Isaiah 28. And then we're going to go to uh, the, the, what uh, Burl is sharing this morning. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It said, uh, don't you know anything? Haven't, haven't you been listening? God doesn't come and go. God lasts. He's creator of all you can see or imagine. He doesn't get tired out, doesn't pause to catch his breath, and he knows everything inside out. He energizes those who get tired, gives fresh strength to dropouts. Even for even young people, tired and drop out. Young folk in their prime stumble and fall, but those who wait upon God get fresh strength. They spread their wings and soar like eagles. They don't run. I mean, I'm sorry. They run and they don't get tired. They walk and they don't lag behind. Amen. James Version. Thank God for all these different translations, but for me, there's still nothing like the King James Version, even though there's other translations, I'm sure, that are a little bit more uh, accurate. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Thank God for the poetic uh, rhythm of the King James Bible. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Amen. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. 
man, this is this this word is is literally asking us and telling us, amen, to make a choice in our minds to think on those things which are good. We can change the channel at any time on our televisions. And likewise, we can choose what we choose to meditate on in our thoughts. And the Bible gives us, uh, it gives us instruction to tell us whatever things are good and honest and just. And if there be any virtue and if there be any praise to think on these things. Amen. As a man thinketh, so is he. And so we want to make sure that we are thinking on and meditating on those things which are good. Amen. Thank God. If there be any virtue and praise, if there, uh, the Lord said, think on these things. Guard your heart and your mind. If you don't have to operate in fear, you can change the channel. You can change the channel, amen, in your thoughts, hallelujah. Here we go again, and, and it's about our thoughts. Uh, thank you for that, Burl. Robert gave us the scripture this morning, Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Fear not. God uh, said, listen, when you understand who you are, the fact that you are, you belong to God. Amen. You don't have to walk around in fear. Sometimes we got to remind our situation. Sometimes we've been telling God about our problems, but we need to remind our problems about our God. Remind our problems who our God is and the fact that he can handle anything. There is nothing too hard for our God. I am thy God and I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Thank you for that, Rob. We don't have to fear this morning. We don't have to be discouraged this morning. God is with us. He said, I'm your God. Hallelujah. The great I am. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, Fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord. Amen. So this is the third time uh, for this scripture this morning. Amen. I'm not sure who it is for. And you can never get enough of God's word. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Who needs renewed strength this morning? Hallelujah. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Hallelujah. Lord, you are everything to me. Everything, everything, Lord, you are everything to me. Come on, is he your everything this morning? Everything, Lord, you are everything. Bless you, good morning, Bunny. Bless you and good morning, Anisha Evans. Amen. Thank God for you all. Hallelujah. Everything to me. Bless you, Stacy Greer. Hallelujah. Another go-to 
through scripture, you know, I, I have my go-tos like Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon formed against me. Amen. And um, this morning, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and don't lean to your own understanding. There is again the power of the blessing as we learn to trust God. Amen. We got to give total dependence. I'm telling you, when we learn to really put our full trust in the Lord, I want to read the scripture that I read yesterday as well in Deuteronomy 28 and just the very first verse. We like to go to the second verse. Hallelujah. We love to go to, in Deuteronomy, we love to, uh, and, and it's in the Deuteronomy in the second verse, and said, and these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, and it shall, if you shall hearken unto the voice of thy God. Amen. But there, the key verse for this whole uh, chapter, uh, for those that want to be blessed and those that are going to be not blessed. It's, it, it, it's really in this first verse of uh, Deuteronomy 28, and it said, And it shall come to pass, if thou, if, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of thy God, to observe and to do his commandment, which I have commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations. Listen, the key in this verse, it is said, if you if you hearken diligent to, diligently and to the voice of God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which he has commanded thee this day. If we are just simply obedient and trust God, hearkening unto the voice of God, in essence means to, I trust that word, Lord, and then to observe, to uh, do his commandments, be deliberate about doing his commandments, amen, then we'll be blessed, then we walk in the favor of God, then we walk in the blessings of God, amen, thank God for his word, hallelujah. John 14, 23, New King James Version. Uh, Jesus answered and said, said to him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my words. Wow, obedience again. There's that word. And my father will love him. And we will come to him and make him our home, make our home with him. Amen. My word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our own with him. Amen. We get the abiding presence of God when we are obedient. He said, if you love me, keep my word. If you love me, amen. Listen what I'm trying to tell you. It's because it's going to help you. Hallelujah. for our benefit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this word, Burl. And let the peace of God rule your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body, and be thankful. Amen. Colossians 3. Let the peace of God rule your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body and be thankful. Hallelujah. Let the peace of God, the peace of God, come on, right now, make that your prayer. Father, I submit and I release 
uh, my heart to you, Father, you said to let this mind be in us that was also in Christ. And so we uh, want the mind of Christ, Lord, and we submit ourselves to you. Hallelujah. We submit ourselves. Have your way. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Be glorified and be magnified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Let the peace of God come on every heart right now. The peace of God govern us, oh God. Let the peace of God make our decisions. Let the peace of God keep us and everyone around us, oh God. When the storms of life are raged, let the peace of God overtake and overwhelm like a tsunami in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Who needed that prayer for this morning for the peace of God? Thank you for that, bro. All of my help cometh from the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, when you know the peace of God, just let God, all of our help. Anisha, he's a very present help in the time of trouble. Angela, he's a very present help. Amen. Thank God for new mercies. Thank God for his grace. All of our help. Hallelujah. David made it personal. He was the king and he would speak on behalf of the people. But when it came to his God, he said, the Lord is my shepherd. I know he's your shepherd. Amen. But sometimes you got to make it personal. I love it when my um, daughter uh, used to uh, have a conversation with her mom. And she would say, this is my daddy. This is my daddy. You know. Uh, she she was saying, listen, I know it might be your husband, but this is my daddy. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. The Lord is my healer. You got to make it personal. Hallelujah. Oh, you're saying the music is too loud. my shepherd come on make it personal make it personal all of my help cometh from the lord he's my lord hallelujah bless you isabel beloved it's always good to pray for others um, it's good to pray for others uh, and 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 I believe God wants us to pray for other people but sometimes you got to make sure you secure yourself hallelujah in prayer just have your needs met and so we thank God for his power and his presence amen Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My help comes from the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Come on, we got any other scriptures that we want to use this morning? want you to remember uh, Angela Malvo uh, is uh, on her way to the hospital I guess because she's not feeling well and 
if we could remember to keep her in uh, prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Thank God for his word. Uh, tomorrow, for those who would like uh, to uh, join the uh, Senior Power Hour, amen. join uh, on that on at Tuesday, Tuesdays at, at 12.30. Amen. Ephesians 1, 4 through 6. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Amen. I like that. Thank you for that. Uh, I want to read it again. According he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world we have been chosen amen we're a chosen generation and um, as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of his children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise and glory of his grace. Hallelujah. Wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Let me do this. Amen. Is that better, Isabel? Amen. I don't know if you guys can hear me well. So thank God that we are chosen. We are chosen. We are chosen by God. Amen. And we thank God for the power of his word. You know what's going to be really great for us? Um, and... Um, um, I I need like I know that Burl put up Psalms 91 and Marianne put up Psalms 27 but if you guys can put those scriptures up um, that would help me so we don't have to take time to look for them amen um, what's going to be great is that um, my friend uh, Jesse Gonzalez he's going to be I know that he was a blessing to um, all of us but um, he's going to be joining us and hosting on Wednesdays. I think either we haven't decided if he's going to do one Wednesday or every Wednesday, like a worship Wednesday. And we will be hosting uh, along with Jesse Gonzalez. And, you know, one of the things I believe, beloved, is that the body of Christ is so huge that... Um, it represents more than just one person. And so on every other day, you got overseer Stephen Sherrod. On the first Sunday of the month, you got Dr. Kim. On the third Sunday of the month, you have um, uh, Shasta Dyer. On the um, fourth Sunday, we got a panel discussion. On the fourth Friday, you guys, uh, get to um, hear uh, Simone Gettins. And um, we just want every day to, for God to um, give us our daily bread and, and express himself. Jesse Gonzalez, uh, and for those that were able to hear him on Friday, he was just a blessing. Um, the transparency, the testimonies, he hadn't even scratched the surface on uh, on
on everything that he had uh, shared with us. And so, um, thank God for his, his grace and his mercy for us. Amen. Then we also want to wish everyone who has an anniversary and or a birthday in the month of um, in the month of uh, September uh, Lanyard Nix's birthday was yesterday which I meant to call him Seth's dad uh, Lloyd my brother's birthday is coming up on the 9th Minister and Pastor Phyllis Hilliard Bishop Hilliard's wife her birthday is on the 7th amen uh, Pastor uh, Phyllis Hilliard Amen. Thank God for Inna Pullum and Mike Pullum. Amen. Their anniversary is on the first. Uh, Elsie's brother Michael on the sec on the first. Desta Joy. Joy's birthday was on the second. Uh, Kim's niece on the fourth. Layla, girl's granddaughter, on the fourth. Amen. Like I said, Lanyard and Lloyd on the fifth and the ninth amen anisha evans and shante lang amen deborah depina on the 21st my son jared on the 21st mally miller on the 21st no Derek, jared's birthday is not on the 21st britney's birthday is on the 22nd in this month jared's on the 21st of august amen mally on the 21st uh, the Harp and Bowl has celebrating their five-year anniversary on the 21st. Amen. Rita Borg on the 22nd. Uh, the 24th Habitation release on the 28th. Um, Rita Owens. Amen. Pastor Deborah Duvall. The 28th. Valerie Gonzalez. The 29th. Amen. Uh, I know that um, Noah Felice, Noe Felice uh, and his wife, their birthday is on the 22nd. It was on my daughter's birthday, on their anniversary, rather. So uh, we celebrate them. Amen. We celebrate them. We celebrate them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, Karen. like that scripture bro hallelujah not unto us O Lord not unto us but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake not unto us O Lord not unto us but unto thy name give glory for them for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake Psalms 119 Psalms 115 and 1. Oh, for grace to trust him more. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Kim. Hallelujah. Did I miss any scriptures? you will man Jesus Jesus how I trust him did I do I did the scripture 
He has chosen us. Yes, I remember. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for just this morning, uh, all of the scriptures that have been shared. Um, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above what we could ask, think, or imagine, according to the power that worketh in us. Thank God for his word. Father, I pray that the word of God finds good ground and that it will produce a hundredfold return in the name of Jesus. Thank you for every person, for every scripture, Lord God. We don't want to just be hearers of the word, but we want to be doers of the word. So help us to get that word deep down in our hearts so that we won't uh, sin against you, Lord. Help us, Lord, to get the word within us, Lord, so it becomes who we are and not just what we say. Have your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We glorify you. We bless you. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. do that you can do that um, Isabel for women that are uh, life after divorce and start a prayer request uh, and we could talk more about that uh, Minister Claudette is actually doing a broadcast on um, divorce and life after divorce uh, Minister uh, Claudette is uh, dealing with that. I mean, not dealing with divorce right now, but that's one of the things, uh, areas that I believe God has anointed her to to deal with. And, and maybe we can also make that connection for you with her, Minister Claudette. And I'm not sure if you're still on with us this morning, Minister Claudette, to be able to um, have that conversation with Isabel. Her first broadcast is going to be dealing with uh, divorce. And uh, so we can make you, I, I, we can, we can talk about it. Amen. Bless you. Love you guys. Hope you are encouraged from today's broadcast. Uh, we seal every prayer, every confession, every every uh, heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed today. Happy Labor Day to you. Enjoy your day if it's a day off for you. And we will talk to you later. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless you. Love you guys.